Hello everyone, my name is Amar and welcome to the convenience store. Uh, this is a... It's a J-horror game. Um, yeah, that's all I really need to say about it. Uh, apart from also uh, my moderated chorus uh, on Twitch. Um, got the game for me. So, yeah. Let's play it. He says he really likes it, but he wants to... Um, he wants me to play it because he's too scared to. I thought I just mentioned that part, <laughs> but it's fine. I'm pretty sure someone's. Pl I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen Mark apply play this or something, but this is the full game. Oh God, you made it. Hmm. I know. It's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. Did I cross a bridge? I didn't take any notice. <laughs> it was dark outside. There was an old lady that said sh that that said that she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Okay, scary stuff. Yeah, it's aren't who the hell is moving under there? It's not them moving. It's the wind outside. <laughs> uh, if only this was a true story. Ha! Ah! Ah! Sorry. Is your face gonna... Enter the counter? Yes. Sup. Bro. Please follow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People aren't mean they're stupid. the hell is this for? Punch in? Yes. Okay, I didn't understand what that was. Normally it's on a wall or something. I think some food are expired by the time you... I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelf for me? Your manager. Okay, I can do that. Yes. Let's check the CCTV. Oh, did he leave? How do I get out of this? Let's escape? Yep. Alright. No. Sup? I need to take some things off the shelf. I don't know what things though. What has expired? I'm going to. Oh wait, are these the things that looks like? This? Yes. Ah oh, shit! Where do I put this? <laughs> ah crap. Um. Uh, bin. Yes. Can I give it to the old guy? I feel like that was a thing. Alright, can I quickly get... No, I can't run. Oh, that's painful. Let's close the door so the monsters don't get in. Alright, so there's more stuff. This guy is... Um... Yep, hold on, sir. Hold on. Yep. A beat. Thank <laughs> I'll check the CCTV because why not? Um, get off! Get off the computer! Why can't I get off the computer? Get off! Get off the fucking computer! I watched too many paranormal videos for this to be okay. Thirteen bucks an hour night shift is the reason why I'm here. Is that a good thing? Or to you, because thirteen bucks is shit. But I mean, Australia pretty good with um, 
payments and what not. <gasps> Someone! Oh, hello, sir! I'm so lonely here. Hi! Your name's Jiminy. Uh, it's kind of late for a delivery man uh, at this time, huh? Who have recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late night. Uh, looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and my name matches your tag. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think it's, this is for you. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll receive the thing. Uh, sit and wait for someone to kill you. God damn it, Trigger. Uh, where do I open this pack? What? How do I... Oh. Take it home? Y yes. Oh. Oh. What? Okay, I got, a, I got a tape. Uh, I think I can put it... Uh, watch closely? Yeah, why not? Is that a weird prank? So why the fuck was that on? Okay. Hey, bud. So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor and it seems like uh, the wiring were loose. Oh, you thought it was some kind of poltergeist? Uh, I see those on TV all the time. Holy crap. I don't know. Man. I don't think you can hear it, but damn, is it pouring down outside. Um, I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Uh, ghosts aren't real after all. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Uh, someone must have left their garbage bin open. Uh, the first person to see the note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. The manager. Sis. Bye, bye, bud. Have a good life, Henry. Yes, what his name was. Alright, man. No worries, Lewis. Have a good night, bud. Thanks for joining in. Ah, crap, someone's coming. Ah, quick, where's the, where's the rats? Where's the rats? One more. There we go. Okay, that's away. Good. I can leave. Someone definitely knocked over the bin. Uh, well, left the bin open. It just ha so happens that the bin is... Um, yep. Oh, it's the old lady! Definitely remember this part from Markiplier's video. I don't know if you played a demo or... Jesus fucking Christ. Hey. Oh, she's psychic. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. She's... That was definitely me. Hey, I'm in hurry. Uh, now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Why, can't the, why the fuck can't you do it? Five cans of beer and a pack of cigar. Where the fuck are you even the... <laughs> what? Yeah. 
I don't. I don't even know. I don't. I. Oh, okay. Do I need to get more? Or is that just the what? Oh, fuck. I need to act. Oh, God. This is going to be tedious. Okay. This is. Oh, this is incredibly tedious. This is insanely tedious. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. I grabbed so many they fell on the ground. Yep. All right. Yep. No worries. Ass. Couldn't get him. Couldn't get them himself. Oh, the old lady's come out. Hi. How are you today? Uh, uh, where's Ken? You know where Ken Ken is? I thought I heard his voice. This is my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Okay, she's completely senile. Hey, Alfredo. How are you, bud? Long time no see. Good to see you again. Uh, oh, you know, the unstoppable trend uh, on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yes. Bye! See you tomorrow night, I think. Honestly, wouldn't mind doing one of these. Um, because the thing is, for me, I like when um, I get to take care of something. So, like, when I was working for Campbell's, I get to take care of um, either the freezer or the, um, or I had the lollies aisle. The lollies and chocolate room. Um, which are really fun to, especially the freezer, they were really interesting to um, take care of and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. realize this is my umbrella ship yep, let's watch closely <sighs> but also, kept like giving everything to Kevin is a great idea as well. Oh fuck! Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, you cunt! I would have punched him so hard. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Cunt, asshole! I hope you die. Some products were missing on the shelf. Um, always keep them shelves full. Uh, that's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning, your manager. Alright. Let's restock some shelves. This is what I used to do. What do I need to restock? I don't even... Uh, like, I don't even know what I'm meant to be. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, are there specific things? Ah, okay. Yep. This this makes it easier. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Oh wait, no, this goes here. No, does it point me to the general place where these are chips, right? I'm I'm looking at. I think I'm looking at chips, but there's no chips missing. Oh, here it is. I mean, this is really neatly packed, so, like, well done to me, if I was the person to do it. I'm Hamanda, so there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Uh, your boss seems 
desperate to keep the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays uh, me well, you know. Uh, don't mind me, I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Alright, cheers! I'm gonna stock things away. Let's just check the CCTV footage. See, uh... What the fuck was that? Oh, that's where that is. Okay. So I think something is slowly getting closer to the store. Thank you! Hey, are you the only one working here? Can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on midnight shift alone? Oh, I'm a girl, okay. <laughs> oh right, I do remember that there was a woman voice acting as me, okay. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my prote uh, protection charm. Now be careful. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, thank you. Have a nice night. Love you. Oh, great. Hello? Do I dare? Oh! If you need food, you can just ask. We have plenty of food. No. I ain't fucking touching those. Jesus. Oh. Didn't see that there. Open AC. Yep. Let's do this. Who knew this was a thing to do? Yes, I'll grab key. And I will walk over here. The door is unlocked. However, my arm goes numb when I try to open it. It, it feels as though something is grabbing me. Exercise the door? Oh yeah, sure, okay. Uh, four? Manager? Manager, protect me! Manager, protect me! Protect me! Protect... Protect? No? Third night! We just skipped everything else. Uh, we, we just skipped all of that supernatural shit. Um, what a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Who the fuck knows? Can I eat... Nope, I can't eat. This is the third night I've gone without food. Of course. Let me close that. Yeah, let's watch closely. Let's see what happens.
Okay. So was that a dream? Oh boy. Oh, this is uh this is a development. I need to clean this up. I need to clean all of this up. Oh, and I just realized there's also TVs everywhere. <laughs> I'll do it in the order that he does it in, just in case that's how I'm meant to be doing it. Did I do it right? Oh, I can't. Okay, so I, I think I did it right. You okay? That was just incredibly loud. That 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 just forced shivers down my spine. And it was just incredibly loud. Yes, I'll bring this random tape home that I have no idea what it really means. I mean, this can easily, even though I've been streaming for, like, doing this for over an hour, it can easily send it off to someone else. Oh, interesting. Or oh, watch it. No. Yeah, fuck it. Send it off to someone else. Or don't watch it. I mean, just put it in a fucking freezer and leave it. Or break it. Like, I don't... <laughs> Ending 1. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my... Tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in the short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, uh, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, inevitably I had to sit down on, my, on a chair to clear my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned the to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. Uh, one comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said there seem to have uh, been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009 there was a case where a man who was in the mainstay of the family committed a murder suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. Uh, the man killed uh, his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off on a grocery shopping uh, local supermarket. When the wife came back it said that she was killed in an extremely extreme way. Uh, he then hung himself on the same day. They say this woman was pregnant uh, at the time of her death. Uh, the woman was killed with several nails punched uh, along her child in her stomach. What the fuck? I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by the, uh, his boss at work. Complained to several colleagues and of the day in incident. Said the emotional face. Uh, imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied uh, the uh, uh, internet uh, gently. Uh, okay, I'm gonna continue. Uh, however, the calls were never picked up. Uh, it was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hozo, um, a franchise owner who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, "The manager is dead." I couldn't, I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where 
uh, it found, Ms. Jose said, there was an old storage behind the convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but try and pass as quickly as possible as not I look at the building. Well, uh, one day later, the store closed down. The reasons seemed to be poor management, but further details were not publicized. Uh, yada yada yada. Uh, but after a while, uh, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day I passed by the closed down store. I heard a child's voice. There I saw a woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails uh, that had fallen in the middle of the site. Oh, then you accidentally killed yourself? What? Okay, a game by Chiller's Art. I know that name. I don't know if I've played another one of their games or I just I've I just know the name because I've seen some. Okay. Uh it's Austin Lee mag magazine, okay. That's interesting. Alright, well, that was uh, the convenience store. That was really simple. Um, it, it had one good scare in it. Everything else was like, oh god, what the fuck's gonna happen now? Um, it wasn't necessarily scary, I don't think. Um, I feel like there could have been a lot more done because I'm actually thinking of making a horror game based at where I worked but like not it's not based at where I worked it's like the location like the actual building and the layout of everything is what um, I'm gonna use where I worked um, uh, that's how I'm gonna base the map of the game it's not actually based on where I work uh, where I used to work um, yeah um, I feel like it could have been a little bit scarier, like more jump scares, something like that. Um, but it, it just didn't, nothing really creeped me out or anything like that, apart from... Well, there, there were a couple things, but that was mostly towards the end. I feel like this was meant to be a build-up, but it wasn't really. Um, there was one good scare in it. Um... There are a bunch of creepy things in it, so, like, they were all good, I reckon. But, I, yeah, I mean, I think I can still recommend the game. It's only a few dollars. I got an hour out of it, plus, well, hour out of it. Uh, there is a, um, a second ending, potentially more. Um, but easily there's two endings. Um... They might not be that different from each other. It's probably just a story or something. You'd watch the video and then potentially die. Uh, probably how the manager died. I don't know. Oh, probably not. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I feel that um, the... Um, there were the boring parts as well of the game. Um, walking to the convenience store was a pain in the ass. I mean, I, I feel like that might have been actually the developers trying to make, like, a creepy, at creepy atmosphere, then, tr like, trying to get to the thing, but it wasn't. It was just really dark, and it was just annoying, um, because your flashlight did bugger all. Uh, I think the first night, it was easy to get there, and then everything else after that, it was incredibly hard. Um, the, and the, the, I think there were a couple parts where I was just sitting there waiting for this shit to happen when nothing happened, and, like, you j literally just have to wait for things to happen, which is annoying as well, 
um, because you can do everything that you need to do in the actual game um, within small time frames, but the game gives you a slightly bigger time frame for each night. Um, and that last part where I needed to look up someone's playthrough on it, um, I mean, I guess I just need... I just didn't know what to do exactly with certain things or whatever. Um, I didn't realise I could go back um, to the storehouse thing. Um, so, yeah. I still think I can recommend the game, though. Um, it's just... Uh, I just feel like it, it could have been done a little bit better, but I can easily still recommend it, especially for the price. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so if people on Twitch want to check out uh, for themselves, um, yeah, the game's called The Convenience Store. Feel free to look it up if you're on YouTube. Um, well, actually, if you're on Twitch, stick around. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video, whatever it was. I think I'll edit that one myself, to be honest. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you want the game for yourself, there is a link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And uh, uh, if you want me to play any games, feel free to suggest them in the comments. I will normally always play them. So, yeah, see you on another one. Bye-bye.